Hi, let's get started with the Interacting with Hadoop Distributed File System lesson. In this lesson, you will learn how to interact with data stored in HDFS using Cloudera Hue, Hadoop File System Command Line Interface, and Web HDFS and HTTPFS protocols. Hue runs in a browser and provides an easy to use interface to several applications to support interaction with Hadoop and HDFS. Hue is automatically installed and configured on the Oracle Big Data Appliance. It runs on port 8888 of the Resource Manager node, which is node 3 by default. Hue is also automatically installed and configured on the Oracle Big Data Lite VM. It runs on port 8888. You can use Hue to perform any of the following tasks. Query Hive data stores using SQL-like queries called HiveQL, which are implicitly converted into MapReduce or Spark jobs. Create, load, and delete Hive tables. Create, edit, and submit workflows using the Uzi dashboard. Work with HDFS files and directories. Create, submit, and monitor Spark and MapReduce jobs and manage users in groups. Before you can start Hue on the Oracle Big Data Lite VM, you need to make sure that the required services are started. Double-click the Start Stop Services icon on your VM's desktop. In the Start Stop Oracle Big Data Lite Services Terminal window, make sure both HDFS and Hue services are started. If you will be using Hive or Impala 2, you also need to start both the Hive and Impala services. To start a service, simply highlight the service and then use the spacebar to select it. You can also click a service to start it. When you're done, click OK. To start Hue in your Oracle Big Data Lite VM, click the browser's icon on the toolbar to display your web browser. On the web browser toolbar, click Hue. Hue is displayed. If you are prompted for a user ID and a password, enter Oracle and Welcome One respectively. Remember, you can get this information in the Start Here page, which you can access by clicking the Start Here icon on your VM desktop. You can use Hue to browse for documents, files, tables, indexes, and more. Click the menu in the top left corner of the window. In the Browser section, click Files. The list of directories and files in the current User Oracle HDFS directory is displayed. In this example, we navigated to the User Oracle MovieWork Data HDFS directory. This directory contains the output files that were generated after running a MapReduce job. Let's look at the content of the part 0001 file. Double click the file name. The content of the file is displayed. Next, you will learn how to access data in HDFS using the Hadoop client command line interface. HDFS provides a command line interface named the file system or FS shell that enables you to interact with the data stored in HDFS. The syntax of this command set is similar to that of other shells. You can invoke FS shell by using the Hadoop FS command followed by some arguments. You must add the Hadoop FS prefix to all of the commands as shown on the screen. If you enter the hit command Hadoop FS by itself, the complete list of the available arguments or commands is displayed. For a complete list of the FS shell commands, access the file system shell site using the URL shown at the bottom of the screen. Scroll down the FS shell page to display detailed information and examples on the available commands. In this example, we're looking at the get command syntax, examples, and available options. In the Oracle Big Data Lite VM, you issue FS shell commands using a terminal window. To access a terminal window, click the terminal icon on the toolbar. A terminal window is displayed. 
you enter the Hadoop commands at the dollar prompt. The table lists some of the FS shell commands. We will go over some examples in this lesson. To display the contents of a directory in a local file system such as Linux, you issue the ls-l command. To display the contents of an HDFS directory, you use the Hadoop fs-ls command. To display the version of the Apache Hadoop on your machine, use the Hadoop version command. You can use the Hadoop fs-help command to display the syntax and options for all of the available commands. In this example, we're displaying help on both the get and put commands. To display the contents of a specific HDFS directory, enter Hadoop fs-ls followed by the name of the directory. In this example, we're looking at the contents of the movie work directory. You can create a new HDFS directory using the Hadoop fs-mkdir command followed by the name of the directory. In this example, we are creating a new directory named training. Next, we use the Hadoop fs-ls command to confirm the creation of the training directory. In this example, we use the Linux print working directory command to identify the current working directory, which is practice commands. Next, we list the contents of this directory, which contains a list of scripts. In the next few examples, we will use lab50501.txt file. You can use the put command to copy one or more commands from the local file system to the destination file system, such as HDFS. In this example, we copy the lab0501.txt file from the practice commands local file system directory to the training HDFS directory that we created earlier. Next, we list the contents of the current directory. Finally, we list the contents of the training HDFS directory to confirm the copy operation. You can use the get command to copy files from HDFS to the local file system. In this example, we are copying the lab0501.txt file from the training HDFS directory to the current local file system directory. We name the copied file copylab0501.txt. Next, we do an ls-l to confirm the successful copy operation. You can use the rm command to delete an HDFS directory. The minus R option deletes the directory and any content under it recursively. In this example, we delete the training HDFS directory. A confirmation message is displayed. Next, you will learn how to access HDFS data by using the curl command with the Web HDFS and HTTPFS protocols. If you do not have a Hadoop client installed, then you cannot use the Hadoop fsls command. In that case, you can interact with HDFS by using either Web HDFS or HTTPFS REST protocols. REST is a popular way to access services in a language agnostic way, and Hadoop supports it. Curl is a tool to transfer data from or to a server by using one of the supported protocols, including Web HDFS and HTTPFS. To use Web HDFS to list the contents of a directory, you use the curl command with the list status operation. In the syntax, you provide the host name, port number, the keywords Web HDFS v1, the path of the directory for which you want to list its contents, and the list status operation. In this example, we use the Oracle Big Data Lite VM host name and port number and the user Oracle path. The contents of the user Oracle directory is displayed in JSON format. This is the same information as that displayed using the Hadoop fs-ls command. This example submits an HTTP put request to create a new directory named MyDir under the user Oracle directory. The owner of this directory is user Oracle. You specify the host, name, port number, path, the keywords WebHDFS v1, 
the path for you to create this directory and make DIRS as the operation. The minus I option specified with the command includes the HTTP header in the output. In this example, we list the contents of the current local file system directory. We will use the test1.txt file in the next few examples. In this example, we upload the test.txt file to the mydurhdfs directory. If mydur does not exist, it will be created. In this example, we remove the mydur3 hdfs directory. We use the ampersand recursive option to remove the directory and its contents, if any. In this example, we create an HDFS directory and load the local test1.txt file to the new directory using HTTPFS. If the directory does not exist, it will be created. HTTPFS uses the default port 14000. You can access this Web HDFS REST API documentation page using the URL at the bottom of the screen. This page contains the complete list of the HTTP GET, PUT, and DELETE operations that we used in this lesson. You can access the Hadoop HDFS over HTTP documentation sets page using the URL at the bottom of the screen. In this lesson, you should have learned how to interact with data stored in HDFS using Cloudera Hue, Hadoop File System Command Line Interface, Web HDFS and HTTPFS. Thanks for watching. Learn more at docs.oracle.com forward slash en forward slash big data.